Rosalie Gascoigne is uh, widely known as the most important and the most successful female artist um, in the post-war period in Australia. We're talking about you know, a contemporary of people like uh, Whiteley and uh, John Brack, and Gascoigne uh, produced paintings that are now widely regarded as being um, the most interesting and the most important and the most valuable uh, of her period. She came to art late in her life. She was uh, born in New Zealand and with her husband's career moved to Canberra and in Canberra living the life of the wife of an academic. She had time to uh, explore and time to uh, take an interest in um, aesthetic matters. And late 70s and the early 80s we start to see her use of found materials. This is junk objects that just catch her eye and the work she produces comes about through a considered and meditative rearrangement of these objects into aesthetic patterns. And it's the combination of the letters, the yellow, strongly uh, graphic strength of the black and yellow, which is, of course is their intention as road signs, is that she sees random wordings emerge from her arrangements. And poetry, of this course, of, of course, is piqued by these random. And she sees words emerging and then um, take on the character of poems. And so Danegelt, which is a fabulous example of her work and a classic piece from the absolute height of her, her career, uh, it's a punchy image, it's got real graphic strength. And the letters that emerge form words, and the name of the painting, Danegelt, in this case, which is a reference to some medieval form of currency, I think, or an expression of uh, feudal English life. We also have another example by Rosalie Gascoigne in the sale, a Lot 65, which is called Africa, and which doesn't use words, but there's just enough in there to give a sense of why she might have called the painting Africa. The associations are often very delicate and very sensitive, so, you know, sometimes they're more obvious. Dane Geld is more obvious. Africa, it's not as obvious, and yet the fact that it's more delicate means that we are obliged to work a little bit harder to enjoy this painting. Both examples from the classic period of Rosalie Gascoigne's career. Mm -hmm.